when you build a truck from the ground up, brand new company, you can do fun, unique things. <laughs> we are at like a 45 degree angle right now. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. This is the one. Welcome back to What's Inside Family. Today is a super exciting day. I get to test drive the world's first production electric truck. That's right, Rivian has launched their truck. As of right now, it should be out by the time this video drops. They sent me out here for a three-day trip in Colorado where I get to go into the mountains and really test this thing hardcore. So I'm gonna show you the full trip right here on this video. I think I might even be able to drive it out of the airport right here to get to base camp in the mountains. Let's go down to the garage. Hopefully the truck is there. Let's do this. There it is, I see it. It is time for the first time, other than looking at it online, here is the Rivian truck. Boom, all electric pickup truck, the R1T. Okay, that looks sick. Look at the handles coming out. What? Okay. <laughs> Big old screen in the front, yes. They're not wasting any time. We are literally at the airport right now. We're not even to our base camp. We're gonna spend the next few days in the mountains. And then tomorrow they told us it is a full day from like 7 a.m. until the evening. We're gonna be going, testing the limits of this truck. It doesn't look like and feel like a massive truck, like a Ford Raptor or even the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck is massive and the Hummer, maybe a little bit bigger than a Tacoma. So we gotta go to the mountains before it gets too dark. This is gonna be fun. First things first, um, I need to store my bag. We're gonna put it in the side of the truck. Yeah, in the side. Look at that. My bag is in the truck right here. Then do I just push it up? Push it up and pop it in. There you go. Oh my. Okay, that's already cool. How cool is that? Yeah. And for my backpack, let's just... Right now we are in the truck with some engineers from Rivian and they are going to show me how to use the highway assist. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's highway assist for you. Highway assist. Highway assist is on. I am in it. It is driving in the lane, reacting right. to the car in front. <laughs> we got this. We're driving behind a giant U-Haul truck, which I don't recommend because typically people don't know how to drive their own U-Haul. It looks very similar. It's an easy thing to compare to, to driving a Tesla. Actually, the heads-up display looks very similar. Check this out, we have made it. Look at the door light. That is a massive Rivian logo light right there. We are in uh, the mountains of Colorado. I've gotta get into my little uh, compartment here to get my luggage out. Very fancy. And there's a lineup of different Rivian trucks that are all different colors. We'll see them tomorrow. And then we're staying in these little motel-like places. I kind of like that. More down to earth. Okay. Oh, this is my room. It's like a college dorm. This, I feel like is probably a bike rack. This must be a mountain biking place. Little TV. Oh, hey, some goodies. A little Rivian truck. Some little uh, goodies here, chapstick. A uh, little hydro flask, perfect. Oh, treats. Check this out. I found my friends. What is up? We got this guy and we got this guy over here. I haven't seen him in a long time. Tonight, it looks like the meal is literally cooked from the vehicle. All right, what do we got? What are we serving up here today? We got some quinoa. We got some lemongrass quinoa going so, with the Thai veggie curry. Yeah. Okay, quinoa, Thai veggie curry. Yes. Looks pretty good. Cooked on the stove that came out of the truck. <laughs> All right. Enjoy. Thank you very much. There's the guy, Zach. What's up, buddy? There's the truck. I saw you standing on it just barely. First impressions of this thing. First impressions? No pressure that there's like Rivian designers. Employee number four, right here. <laughs> First thing, when I was when I walked up to it from the airport, I, don't, I can't, don't hold me to this, but I was like, this is the one. Ooh, this is interesting because the, when I first saw it, the first thing that I thought is, this reminds me of Zach's Tacoma. Exactly. Because it's just like a little bigger. Exactly. I wanted to know the size, which I was just talking to RJ, who, the CEO of the company and the founder. Just no, no big deal. I was just like sitting at this campfire talking to him, kind of crazy. But anyway, he did explain to me that it's kind of in between the Tacoma and the Ford F-150 so in a way. Yeah. yeah. That's back of his head right there. Oh yeah, that's back of his head right there. <laughs> it almost doesn't feel like a big like car event type thing. It just feels like you're hanging out with cool people in the mountains. Tomorrow is gonna be the big day from like 7 a.m. to 
10 p.m. or something. We're just gonna take this truck and beat it up as much as we can. Next thing you'll see is tomorrow. Whew. Okay, good chilly morning. This is the first time I've worn a jacket in what I feel like is months and months and months. So the first decision is, which car are we going to take? I mean, look at the white. Tough, looks really good. Oh, hi dog. Ben is going with the blue. He's already setting up a camera in here. The DJI Osmo, is that what it's called? That's it. Okay, nice. Got the Sony over there. Got whatever that thing is. Oh, that's our radios. Is it? All right, favorite color out of all these if you had to buy one right now. Blue. This that one. was fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we are off for the morning. We are going to be at the back of the group. Zach is gonna be our designated driver this morning because he's really good at doing <laughs> stuff in the mountains with trucks. We are right now in the forest. The suspension has been really good. We've just been driving it on these trails that are super rocky and also have had some pretty big up and down hills and some water. Riding in an electric truck off-road is a different experience and I think part of it is because of the regenerative braking. You're using the one pedal driving, not using your brake. When you go over giant boulders, it doesn't like kick you as much. A Model X, which I guess would be the closest thing to an off-road thing, like Zach has the Model X, it would not survive here. And this is not even hard stuff yet. Ooh, I drove through a very tight place. We were basically driving up a waterfall. That's just what happened right there. And supposedly there's another good tr stretch right here that's gonna be pretty intense. So I'm gonna let Zach drive through that one. <laughs> there's that weird spot. Yeah. <laughs> just ran over a log. <laughs> This is getting so tight. We have heard some noises that you probably don't want to hear just because we're taking it to the extreme. Zach is hugging really close to these giant boulders. <laughs> okay, there's a tree stump right there outside the window. <laughs> Keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. <laughs> We are at like a 45 degree angle right now. Look at that. Woo. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. Good thing we folded in the mirrors. You can see we've totally <laughs> folded them in. So at one point of that, Zach hit a boulder hard. He missed it on the front, but then he had to turn and the back hit it and it was loud. And I was like, oh no, what did we break? Well, we didn't really break anything. Just got a little scratch on here. Zach, you did that, buddy but we survived, that's what this thing's made for. I thought maybe the tire popped, but no, we're good. You can judge the scratches of what they are, what the deeper grooves are, but that boulder is uh, <laughs> like right here. Well, as long as it's just on the rims. Yeah, we're good. I'm sure they've got extras. It's not your truck. Nailed it. All right, here comes uh, Ben, Mr. San Diego over here. He is having some altitude sickness, maybe. Yeah, a little You're bit. you breathing in some air. Shots of air. I can feel it like I just barely walked a little bit and all of a sudden I'm a little winded so um, it's not just people that live at sea level. I'm shocked at just how easy it feels comfortable and cushy. It's not yeah. like a Jeep where you're just really bouncing around. You can tell when somebody's having a tough time because they are just pushing it on the gas and it's just like but this it's just nice and easy. You're just strolling up the hill. There's a few things about this truck that I'm learning. It seems like every time I think I know what my favorite top three quirky things are or unique things about it are I learned something else. So, okay, what did you just say to me? The flashlight. I didn't know there's a flashlight. He has not seen the flashlight. It must be really cool because you are really excited if I about open this flashlight. The door, do you think you can find it? Oh. See if you can get it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is a flashlight. Is that number one now? I mean, it's it's definitely in the top four. What happens if you shine it in your eyes? Oh, that was bright. Ouch, okay. I was doing it for the camera. Don't shine it in your eyes, it's really bright. He just went right for the eyes. The first and most important thing that I've wanted to do, and it's been basically 24 hours that I've had this thing and I haven't been able to do it, is can I fit inside of this thing? Do not try this at home. Thanks to my friend, Mr. Jerry, I have some tools to help me. I have a flashlight, so at least I won't be in the dark in there. All right. I'm six feet one and a half, much wider than I used to be. <laughs> Coming in. Whoa! Oh. 
I'm coming in. I'm coming. Can you see me? I'm in the gear, gear tunnel. Okay. We're moving this camera. Okay. Close the door. <laughs> Dang. I can't shine this on my face, but if anybody's listening to this message, I'm in a mining town with no cell service. I'm not sure how long we should leave him in there. And somewhere in Colorado. He can get out. There are entrapment switches in there just in case. <laughs> but I don't think he knows where those are. <laughs> if you, I don't know. Yeah. Um, tell my family I love them. And there's an emergency button. Oh, hey. There he is. We're back out. <laughs> you didn't push that, did you? I didn't. No, that oh, wasn't me. There's a button right there. Check it out. Oh, you found there's it. Button. I was, I was giving my last will and testament. <laughs> oh, it's the bright yellow button right there. Okay, yeah, this this one. That's important. We've determined I could definitely get in, but I don't know if I can get out. Hi. What's up? Thanks for opening that door. There is the pass through. So, anyway, obviously this is not made for people. I should probably put the camera down. <laughs> okay, grab onto this handle. I hope it doesn't fall off. Oh. Yes. That is not so bad, actually. A lot of functionality inside of this truck. Things that you don't see in other trucks. Oh. Okay. Hey! Okay. <laughs> All right, so we can fit a human inside of here. You can tow up to 11,000 pounds of this. This is a heavy duty truck. Ta da. Pretty nice. Okay, we just popped out of the forest. We are now super high. Most of the time, trees stop growing around 11,000 feet elevation, so that's probably about where we're at. You saw earlier, it was hard to breathe. People are literally breathing in oxygen tanks, but um, yeah, no more trees up here. basically a dirt road. I'm gonna give it a little extra here. We're gonna go a little quicker. I'm just gonna feel for these rocks. It's still smooth. It's really smooth, even on these rocky parts over here. We're at the top of a mountain where everybody is breaking out drones. Don't crash your drone. Whoa! Wow! Are you experienced flying drones? <laughs> a little lightheaded. <laughs> so is your drone. Every single wheel has a motor and it's electric, of course, and it has regenerative braking. So as you go up, it's really smooth. It's like, it's like I'm not even doing any work. Kind of takes the stress out of it a little bit. Maybe everybody else that's in the car is stressed out, but I'm pretty confident in this truck right now. It just kind of does its job. It's so easy. It shouldn't be this easy to be in a giant pickup truck going up a hill. I don't, okay, this side will go. Yeah, this is the big one. Okay, here's the big part. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> wow, that was a boulder. And Zach right now is getting the best drone shots. How about this? We're gonna do like a, a cool editing trick right now. I'm gonna come <laughs> over, we're gonna see the drone shot, and then we're gonna cut right to that moment. Boom. I'm sure that totally worked. <laughs> Probably can't even hear me because it's so windy up here, but we're basically on the edge of a cliff. There's a little river back there and all the Rivians are all lined up. River, Rivian, I never put that together. A very uh, narrow road going up that's very rocky and even cliffs on the right side. Please be safe, Mr. <laughs> Zach. Yes, yeah, this is it. Got it, got it. Whoa. Got a little scared there, <laughs> let off. 
Give it a little wiggle. Alright, All right, this is where I'm not supposed to get at. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what did you do? I think the GoPro got that though. I think the GoPro got it. <laughs> Okay, so we did not intentionally do that. Oh yeah, we busted it. Okay, all right. Sorry. Don't break it. You have to go watch on Zach's channel. The most Jerry rig thing ever happened. Was he, not intentional. <laughs> not intentional. Zach is the first non-Rivian employee to change a tire or wheel on a Rivian truck. <laughs> True story, we have it confirmed from different Rivian employees. If you would have been in any other electric vehicle off-road, you're calling somebody to come yeah. bring you a spare. No other electric vehicle has a spare in it that I know of. How many more spare tires do we have counting all the other vehicles? Well, like cool. seven other trucks, seven so. Other trucks? There's a lot more wheels that you could pop. Each but. one has a spare. I think we're good. <laughs> Don't even worry. Oh my goodness, it is. 2.13, we had breakfast at, what time was it, 7 a.m.? Anyway, it's time to get some food. Food time. How you doing? Hungry. Here we go, what can I do for you? I got bison chili or I got some veggie chili? Bison chili? Yes. Yes, of course, the bison. Vegetarian chili or the bison chili? Bison, holy cow. That tastes, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Also check this out, we've got a tent on top of the Rufian truck. That's really cool. You're the model up there. <laughs> it looks like it was a partnership with Yakima and Rivian where they made this so that you can have a tent that easily goes on and off of the truck. There are three unique things about the Rivian truck that I personally really think is just cool and shows you that when you build a truck from the ground up, brand new company, you can do fun, unique things. There is a speaker, a Bluetooth speaker, a camp speaker that is here inside of the truck that you can just pull out and use when you're camping. When you're done with the speaker, you just put it back into its little slot and it charges again by itself. The second thing that I really like, you push this little button right there, it opens up. You can even jump on top of that. It's not just to store your gear in a secret hidden place, but there's also some really cool functionality. We've been eating out of the truck. Oh, and those just flip out. Okay. Cutting board. <laughs> it just goes down in there. Put the leg up, goes up a little bit, then folds. Then the old slide. And boom, there we go. The third thing that I really think is cool, they actually put an air compressor in the back of the truck. And look at that, you can go up and down to whatever PSIs you want it to be. We are about to go on the actual roads, on the highway, and you need more pressure than when we were off-roading when you're on the rocks. A heavy duty towing truck that could tow 11,000 pounds is about to drive by, listen for it. That's it, it's super, super sneaky in the mountains. Would I buy one of these Rivian trucks? And I would say the answer is a solid yes. I would buy this over basically any other gas truck. As far as like downsides go, the mileage range is very similar to my wife's SUV that's electric. It's around top end 300 miles. I think we had around 230 miles range today when we started and it was charged to 91%. As far as like long road trips go, by 2023, Rivian is launching their own fast charging network, a DC fast charging network called Rivian Adventure Network or RAN, which fits in with the whole outdoor theme. You can tap into all of the different charging networks that are out there right now, like Electrify America and what all, a lot of the other manufacturers are doing. If I needed a truck right now, I would buy this truck, but I do have a question that I honestly don't know the answer to. How much does this truck cost? I think it's 67,000. So yes, I would drive this truck. <laughs> I would buy the truck. It's a tremendous vehicle that's capable in all these different kind of ways. I don't think many people are gonna do what we did in it with the off-roading, but it's really cool to know that it's able to do that. For the casual person that likes the higher end truck, I think this is a, a solid win. We are back at the airport hotel with the truck, with the Rivian. Oh, another one caught up to us. That was a really fun ride. We tested it off-road, we tested it on-road. The truck is actually out right now. They're taking reservations, but they do have many, many reservations because they started taking reservations 
two or three years ago. And so there are lots of people in line. Doesn't mean you can't put in an order and hope that they make them and produce them fast enough that you can get them. I would imagine not everybody that put down deposits will actually take delivery of them. So if you're interested in getting the Rivian truck, I'll put a link in the description, you can check them out. Thank you to Rivian for letting me come out here and get a first look of this really cool electric pickup truck. I think it's a great addition to the market and this is a bright sign for the future that we actually have a really solid electric truck that is out there on the market. I know more are to come from other manufacturers in the next few years, but at this point, this is the only capable all-electric pickup truck that is out there right now, and it's a really, really good one. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. The Buffalo Chili. I just have to say, two thumbs up. There's two since I'm holding the camera. On this type of truck, truck can confirm. You can fit a six-foot one, 210-pound man inside of a full truck. Unfortunately. I'm on the opposite side of the emergency lever. I can't move my toes there. Hey Zach, can you give me a little help? <laughs> Ooh! Woo! <laughs>